the Internet of Things, there's lots of techn different technologies at the network edge. There's lots of standards. And if each application has to take all those into account, it becomes more expensive, becomes brittle, uh, you know, because it's very dependent on the details of those technologies. And it also becomes great increased risks for the developers and for the customers alike. So the Web of Things provides a way of simplifying all that and making life a lot easier for the application developers and enabling open market of services. So a thing description is a way of describing things as objects so the applications can interact with. So it's a way of wrapping that up as an object in terms of what properties the object has, what actions you can evoke on the object, and also you know, what events, what, you know, the signal that something's happened to the object, to the thing. The standard enables us to bring together data from different domains that are now being interoperable by using that uh, WOT standard. So we, we get uh, interoperability between things that we in past times would have to have engineered and now we get it for free just bringing data to a common uh, data pool and then uh, analyze the data. And in the future I think we will see competing collaborative systems. That means that um, for an IoT system architecture we will uh, then have a competition of devices for tasks one robot arm that is then um, able to do something very fast but not so accurate and another robot arm would then be able to manufacture something in a very accurate fashion but takes longer. Which one of then these uh, two robots that might actually be then operated by different uh, companies even will get the job depends on the requirements of the workpiece and at the same time the optimality of the overall system. So I really believe that this will make the IoT, and especially in the industrial IoT context, much more dynamic and also service-oriented. I, I believe that integration costs of systems will go down significantly. It's an economic, not a technical advantage. That was a pretty much American-dominated area, the World Wide Web consortiums and the web standards making. Uh, that usually was rather done by the big uh, shots of uh, the US ICT industries, while at this particular project uh, the um, traditional industries, including Siemens, had been at the very forefront of uh, driving the development and Siemens really made a cutting edge in terms of contribution and finishing the standard that is now available to the industries. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.